Hey guys, I'm Deva. I'm Emily. And we're two eighths of Internet Actually. So this week's theme is Story Week. And so Shireen started, Peely continued, and now we are continuing off of Peely's. So we wrote down our story just so we wouldn't forget anything, anything that happened in it. So, oh yeah, by the way, I'm sick, so I sound different and that's why I look atrocious, it's okay. but that's okay. Okay, so it ended off where me, Emily, Sharina, Raya, and Peely are in Peely's car and Sarah pulls up next to us. So, to continue, after, well, when Sarah pulls up, we notice that the car is a race car. So we get, we're really confused. We don't know how she got a race car. Anyway, so Sarah tells us that she, that Jesse is still at the racetrack. And she, Sarah stole one of the cars so that she can come try to find us because she, <coughs> since she didn't have her phone with her, she came to find us. And then once she found us, she, they, we could all get a hold of Jesse. So after talking with her, Raya yells out that we forgot Abby. Abby chased after that policeman and never came back before we drove away. We left her. So then Deva gets a text from Abby and the text turns out to be a picture and it was, or it is Abby tied up in the back of a car and the people in the text said, we have your friend hostage. If you, the only way to get her back is if Sarah and Jesse give us all the money that they robbed from the banks. And then Peely remembered what was said on the radio about two cops or two fake cops and there's gonna be a reward whoever can capture them basically and then turn them in so now we're all freaking out because the cops the imposter cops have our friend and the only way we can get back is by giving them all the money which we do not have so we all make a decision that raya and sharina would go with sarah and they would go and try to find Abby and me, Emily, and Peely are gonna go and go find Jesse. So now we go into Jesse's perspective. So they get <coughs> they when they realize that they need to find Emily, me, Sharina, Raya, and Peely. Um, Sarah had an idea, and she ends up taking one of the race cars that no one was in. And it just happened to be The Rock's car. But he never showed because up. Because for some reason he never showed up. So, Sarah leaves and now Jesse is all by herself. So she's freaking out because she's afraid of getting caught without Sarah and being all alone. So, she starts walking to go find somewhere to hide. Um, she comes across a trailer and she decides to go in it and she hides in the bathroom and now she's crying because she's scared that she's gonna get caught. So Jessie's crying in the bathroom, scared she's gonna get caught. And then she doesn't realize this, but four people walk in, but she hears them come in and she thinks it's cops and so now she's hysterically crying, super scared. But what she doesn't know is the people who came in are Louie, Liam, Harry, and Niall. So, the boys were there because they wanted to support The Rock at, in his racing and his friend Miley for performing. So, they Niall then hears someone crying in the bathroom. So he opens the door and he finds Jessie and he's trying to calm her down, he's hugging her, but she can't form any sentences that he can understand. And he's, while he's trying to calm her down, Harry, Louie, and Liam are in the front of the trailer. And Jessie accidentally forgot her cell phone on the counter. And so Jessie ends up getting 
an incoming call, and so her phone starts to buzz, and that's when Harry walks over and picks up the phone. So back to mine, Davis, and Peely's perspective. So we were driving on our way to the racetrack so we could go try to find Jesse since we had all come across Sarah. So I was thinking, okay, Jesse has her phone. I'm gonna call her phone again because maybe she will answer it. So I call her phone and it rings, it rang like three times and then someone answers it, but it wasn't Jesse. It was a guy and I, I'm like, who is this? And then the person answered, this is Harry. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're Harry. What, what's going on? So basically I tell him everything that was happening to us that day when we were at our house and the two cops showed up saying that Sarah and Jesse were robbing banks and then we all left because we found out that they were imposters and how Abby was now kidnapped and we were trying to find Jesse. So I tell him everything that happened and then Harry told me that him and the rest of the boys are going to help us on our wild search to find the cops and to find, but most importantly, to save Abby because she was kidnapped. And we love her and she's so our friend. So I hung, I hang up the phone and then I get a text message from Jesse's phone again. And well, it's a text of a location that the boys want us to meet them at and they're gonna bring Jesse so we can all start looking for the cops and Abby. And the location is to be continued. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so that was the, our part of the story. Stay tuned for Sarah's next part tomorrow. And if you haven't watched any of the previous uh, chapters to the story, go back and watch them. Yeah. Make sure they're in order. You're going to want to know them or you're not going to understand anything that happened. So, um, thanks for watching. Oh, leave, if you want to leave a comment, you can leave what you think is going to be the next part of the story. Or what's going, what do you or think is going to happen to Abby? what do you think is going to happen, or yeah, what do you think is going to happen to Abby? So, um, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe to our channel and watch all of our videos we post every day. So, stay tuned tomorrow for Sarah. And we'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye.